there's a cliche question here, but let, let's try to actually get to some deep truth perhaps. But people who don't know much about chess seem to like to use chess as a metaphor for everything in life. But there is some aspect to the decision-making, to the kind of reasoning involved in chess that's transferable to other things. Can you, can you speak to that in your, in your own life and in general, the kind of reasoning involved with chess, how much of that does transfer to life out there? It just helps board. you make decisions. I mean, uh, of all of all kinds. Yeah, that would be my main takeaway: that you learn to make informed guesses in a limited amount of time. I mean, does it frustrate you when you know they have, you have uh, geopolitical thinkers and leaders? You know, Henry Kissinger will often talk about geopolitics as a game of chess or three D chess. Is that a too oversimplified of a projection, or? Or do you think that the kind of deliberations you have on the world stage is, is similar to the kind of decision making you have on the chessboard? Well, I never, I'm never trying to get reelected when I play a game of chess. <laughs> <laughs> There's no special interest you have to get happy. Yeah, it's that kind of no, that kind of helps. And I, no, I can, I can understand that. Obviously, for every action, there's a reaction, and you have to to calculate far ahead it probably would be a good thing if more big players on the international scene thought a, a little bit more like like a chess player in that sense like trying to make good decision based on um, based on limited amount of data rather than thinking about other um, other factors but it's so tough uh, but it does annoy me when when people make moves that they know are wrong for different reasons and they should know if they did some calculation. They should know they're wrong. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. That they should know that are wrong. And so much politics is like it's um you're you're often asked to do something when you're when it would be much better to do nothing. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. no, but that happens in chess all the time. Like you have you have a choice. Like I often tell people that. In certain situations, you should not try and win. You should just let your opponent lose. Yeah. And that happens in politics all the time. Uh, <laughs> that Yeah, just let your opponents continue whatever they're doing, and then you'll win. Don't try to do something just to do something. Often, they say in chess that having a bad plan is better than having no plan. It's absolute nonsense. <laughs> I forget what general said it, but uh, it was like, uh, "Don't interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake." Yeah, I think. They're, they're... Also, um, Petrosian, um, the the former world champion, said, um, "When your opponent wants to play the Dutch defense, don't stop them." I mean, chess players will know that it's the same thing. 